I'd like to add a level of operational detail in two specific areas. The launch of our revitalised used car programme and the introduction of new operating standards within after sales. So let's start by looking at used cars. And at this moment in time, we are in a healthy position with supply and demand fairly well matched. And that is helping keep residuals very strong. But we are about to substantially increase the supply. And unless we shift demand to meet that supply, we'll be in danger of increasing used car sales at the cost of falling residual values. And this is what happens when supply and demand go out of kilter. Now, over the past 18 months or so, we've enhanced the way we approach the Lexus used car business. The warranty has been upgraded to include wear and tear. Mandatory warranties cover vehicles of any age and mileage. And we're now looking to introduce three, six and nine month top ups. We've optimised the RAC processes. We've changed the inspection standards to make those older, higher mileage cars much more of an attractive retail proposition. Cosmetic inspections have been removed from the certification process. And we've introduced portfolio. This more professional website has already paid dividends for us with a dramatic increase in the number of customers viewing our cars. We are now regularly receiving over 100,000 viewings a month on this new website. The training has been improved and has expanded. And, as most of you know, PEP have been employed to manage a program of used car events supported by a suite of marketing materials. All these improvements have prepared the ground for the challenge that's about to hit us. The challenge of a massively expanding park. Today we're selling 8,000 used cars a year. With a current stock turn, that's on average 24 cars per centre at any one time. And as most of you know, there is little or no space for most of us to increase capacity. Yet, if we don't sell more used cars, we'll create a bottleneck as the new business squeezes the used into the trade and out of the franchise. So how do we open that bottleneck? Now, part of the answer is going to lie in our latest innovation in the overhaul of our used car program, and that is our marketing. Now, this recognizes that people don't want used cars. They may buy a used car, but to them, it's a new car. They don't be expect to be treated like a second-class citizen. They are Lexus customers. They are not used car buyers. That means buying a used car should be a true Lexus experience. And maybe at the moment it currently isn't as good as it could be. So we've taken a long, hard look at the traditional way of selling used cars. The way a prospective customer is treated, the information they get, the experience in the forecourt, and the delivery within the Lexus centre. And we've created a new approach. Used cars, they're approved pre-owned. New marketing materials will communicate a true Lexus experience when buying used. They communicate the product benefits clearly and vividly. At the centre, there's no more squeeze in between those used cars. They're parked so close together, you can't get the doors open. There's an entire new approach to the display, which will feature simple and unique Lexus point of sale. And rather than replicating the same old material that every manufacturer uses, we are setting a new benchmark signage that creates a simple, clear focal point for pre-owned cars. And we're going to trial this stylish, distinctive new marketing materials at the point of sale. So in short, we've looked at the antidote to the used car sales experience. We believe it's a com combination of positioning, of marketing materials, better planning, and of phys physical point of sale materials. And another part of the answer to that bottleneck is what you can do delivering a fantastic used car experience. Just when the volume pressure starts to hit the forecourt and all the new car footfall increases in your centres. And as Jan said earlier, for our part, we're going to extend the power of the web. We're going to make Lexus Direct available to your customers via your web portal. At the same time, this will happen for Fleet Direct. We'll make this available to the public, providing another profitable route to the market for the leasing industry. And at the same time, this will prevent leakage of attractive stock from the network. So by extending the direct programs to customers, you can sell pre-owned cars you've never physically stocked. So when can you expect to see progress? Well, the signage and the brochures, they're in production, along with the pricing boards and the plates. The, the, plates. the look is now in place. But we're still fine-tuning the contents of the customer handle pack and a few tweaks to the website. 
portfolio where we'll have all the imagery next week and they will provide the support, the materials that you need. Everything else will be in place by the end of the year, giving you the tools to build that vital used car sales experience alongside the new sales. So let me now shift the spotlight to a parallel challenge. That challenge, building and protecting complete customer satisfaction in after sales. And if you remember in Geneva, I spoke about the letters that I received, the good ones, the not so good ones. It is very encouraging that our CCS score for after sales is tracking at 90. Now, while some of our competitors would be happy with this score, for us it means one thing. It means that one in 10 of our customers is still not completely satisfied. We all agree that CCS has to be our differentiator. It has to be consistent right across the network. Think about it. If you can say your customers are completely satisfied, then you will achieve maximum loyalty from them. John's presentation touched on the expectations of a new type of Lexus buyer and how our lives will get more busier and more complex. We will be dealing with more demanding individuals. And, unlike the original customers of the IS2 range, who were probably aspiring to Lexus and the premium mark, this new type of customer will already be in the premium market. Now, maybe they will have had an experience with some of our competitors. And maybe, who knows, that experience wasn't that good. And you're probably sitting there now thinking, hey, that'll be good for us. It won't. If they were let down then, they will come to us with even higher levels of expectation. And as Jan said earlier, whilst our after sales business is showing year on year growth, this is very modest compared to the 20% growth experience in the vehicle park. Clearly demonstrates that we are not giving enough focus to the older vehicles in our park, like that current IS, for example. Now, I want to reinforce the importance we are placing in after sales, and it is a key part of your business. We are currently undertaking a very detailed customer research program to better understand what our customers expect. Now, this will help us to formulate all future after-sales strategies more immediately and to complete a missing piece of the jigsaw for the Lexus customer, we will launch the Lexus Approved Body Shop program to ensure they can offer the correct levels of customer satisfaction. Now, through the CEM program, we are now receiving many red flags as a result of customers' dissatisfaction with some of our nominated body shops. Those body shops who are allowed to represent the Lexus brand will need to adhere to a set of Lexus body shop standards. Standards that are similar to the franchise standards that are in place for your own workshops. The audit process will cover not only health and safety, but it will ensure the Lexus customer receives the highest levels of service and body repair. Long overdue, I know, but it is designed to keep the Lexus customer within the network really renowned levels of body repair and customer service, and make sure we get the parts supply. Now, I mentioned a moment ago how after sales is critical to your business. Let me now demonstrate how seriously we are taking this. We will continue with the Comprehensive Operating Standards Program for all after sales outlets. You will have to adhere to this alongside the Lexus franchise standards, and once again, we will continue to ask you to support the running costs for the technical telephone support line and the mystery shop costs, as we did this year with full approval of the LBDG. However, there is one big difference. This next year, we intend to financially reward centres that demonstrate a commitment to complete customer satisfaction and after-sales processes. There will be six elements of this programme. These are customer relation management, CRM, customer retention, after sales marketing, staff retention, welfare, systems data, and a mystery shop program. Each Lexus center has been placed into one of three bandings, which is based on the Lexus retail sold hours performance submitted to BDI at the end of September. Your regional after sales team will carry out three audits through the coming year to assess the score for these six elements. Added to this will be an additional score based on the rolling CCS score. The quarterly score, along with the 12-month CSS, is amalgamated. And, provided the centre achieves the minimum threshold, this will represent for a centre that has been placed in Band A, for example, a potential earnings of up to £15,000. 
Now that gives you an outline and you'll receive further details of this program in due course from your regional after sales team. But I'm sure you've heard enough to recognise that LGB are serious about after sales. After all, this program shows we are prepared to hand back more than half a million pounds to the network. That's half a million pounds for rewarding you for doing what's needed in the after sales arena to keep the focus on new and existing Lexus customers. So now it's over to you. But before I close, as today is all about positives for the future and the past, I would just like to add a few congratulations. And I would like to say a well done to the following Lexus senders who will be attending what will be a fantastic event in Miami. So well done to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, with the launch of the Lexus approved pre-owned program and the 2006 operating standards program, you have all the tools you need to develop your after sales performance and improve loyalty through complete customer satisfaction. Thank you very much.